now what's happened basically is uh, the damage has happened and then now they try to deal with the consequence of that damage basically it was the it was the mistake of the iranian side it was obvious that that's you know the iranian uh, space at that moment at that two three hours after the uh, iranian attack on on the two bases was absolutely a, a, a war zone uh, and it should it should not allow any aircraft to fly over that over that uh, airspace. But it seems, as they already uh, uh, admit today, that actually there was a problem of communication. And that's an adding another responsibility to the Iranian authority. So it was, the damage has happened. They tried to control the damage as much as they can, basically. Yeah, a lot of damage control that they're still um, doing at the moment. How does this now affect Iran's relationship with Ukraine and Canada? They're the two other countries that suffered major losses in this plane crash. I think it will add, uh, you know, uh, more fuel to the fire which already existed on when it comes to Iranian relations with the foreign countries. We know that the uh, Canadian-Iranian relation is not in a good shape. Um, and uh, now, uh, uh, you know, Ukraine is, is, is been adding to the list. Um, I think the Iranian, you know, they have to, to um, provide evidence uh, and goodwill to collaborate with the uh, different authorities in those two countries. And, and now they have they have an ethical responsibilities. They have to, uh, basically, uh, they have a financial responsibility toward the uh, uh, family victims. And so, they, it, I mean, the story, um, I think, just started today, basically. And there are a lot of things to be discussed in the next um, few days. And also, this will require a lot of discussion about um, how, you know, uh, Iranian authority uh, was not basically informing uh, the uh, airport uh, uh, staff that there was, an, you know, something going on. They should not allow any aircraft to fly, basically.